Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing Case File 268, the Lonnie Zamora UFO Incident, or aka the Zakaro Z- Z- Zakaro Incident. I'm Braden. I'm Zell. I'm Dan. I'm Andrew. We should really like maybe workshop these names before we start, hey? I did. You were gone. <laughs> you were stepped out of the room. I workshopped them all. Everyone gave a summed up. We won by I won that vote by. So you went with two decision. different ones. Why wouldn't you just go with the winner then? That's true. Right? I did. <laughs> That's I, what I mean. Like we got multiple. He's, he's on a habit now of just extending oh, the intro. It's always nice yeah. to have a subtitle underneath your real your title. Like I guess. See something on there. Throw an AKA or something. Yeah, you got to hit. Yeah. You got to hit those algorithms. You got to hit every single. He's, yeah. Yeah, he, he's still under the impression that whatever he's. Speaks will be searched yeah. by Google. <laughs> yeah, it's S. What is it? SEO or whatever. It's a vo- vocal SEO. That's what you're going yeah, for. Optimization. <laughs> that's what I'm. That's what I'm working on. Uh, this is an interesting case. This. This. The credit to this one goes to Andrew. Brought this one up. Uh, he wanted normally take I bow. would take the credit, but I've been getting a lot of heat for taking all the credit, so I better give some credit. Uh, Andrew picked this one. He actually wanted to talk it. Talk about it last case file briefly and then it's, was like no, 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 I don't. Yeah, he's like there's there's a lot of there's a lot of moving pieces he's like there's a lot of you know various parts it's a good one and it is as soon as you look it at is. the Lonnie Zamora incident fucking fascinating case but like the interesting part of like the reason why we wanted to talk about Alaska the Holloman Air Force uh our last case fall is because this was literally a year before that encounter and like a stone's throw away yeah in the same vicinity yeah to the Holloman Air Force Base coincidence or not nah. nah. we'll find out we'll find out tonight <laughs> on alien theorist theorizing <laughs> unless you're listening to this on your morning commute <laughs> this morning uh yeah so uh this case like zell said uh took place a little bit year before the uh before the holloman air force base uh encounter was alleged to have happened so this would have been uh april 24th 1964 at 5 45 p.m exactly uh outside of uh, near socorro new mexico and it's called the lonnie zamora incident because it involves the principal actor police officer Lonnie Zamora uh who no <laughs> whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> police sergeant police sergeant Lonnie Zamora yes police sergeant also Lonnie Zamora. little known factoid about him though but he's actually the the uh heir to the Zamora Cosmetics Foundation my old lady buys fucking shit from there all the time <laughs> <laughs> He's from the family. He didn't yeah. want to follow the footsteps of his father's father. Wow. Once he retired from policing, he went, cosme- cosme- yeah. Yeah, he went to cosmetics. They fucking sold spent hundreds of dollars in that place. He's like, yeah. He's like, we got hey. one in our mall. Uh, right? Zamora's? I, I believe that's the, the correct chain, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so this entire encounter kicks off with a nice, exciting uh, speeding car chase as uh, Officer Zamora, so, sorry, Sergeant Zamora, was in pursuit of a speeding car outside of the town. And while he was in pursuit, he heard an over, uh, like over the his own engine, he heard a loud roar. Uh, yeah, something something else that startled him, like it's... Like a, a third, like outside of the vehicle, not like it's not your vehicle making this noise. It's not the other vehicle. Something else is around is making this noise. And he's like super stink when he describes it too, because he's like, it's a roar. It's not, it's not a blast sound, right? Like it's, it's an actual roar and it doesn't sound like not a like, jet because he knows what, yeah. Like he knows what jets sound like. And like he, this is such an intense sound that he automatically thinks that maybe the local dynamite shop, the fucking Acme dynamite shop just went up <laughs> right well, like, I, I read it wasn't a shop i thought i had this question too it said there's like a dynamite stash or like, like stashes around the town yeah, the coyote like a, hangs out he's got a bunch yeah. of fucking dynamite, well actually you know? actually zacoro new mexico uh, prior to this date was known for the world's largest stick of dynamite Zocoro? Uh, <laughs> just combining them <laughs> yeah uh, that's exactly okay. that. so that's what went on maybe we don't know yeah uh so he he hears this loud roar which is like to his it's like a continuous kind of uh gaining in sound and power uh roar and then he also to his surprise cites this like it's like a jet of flames that he describes like shooting up from an area that was about southwest from the highway he was on so uh, like we mentioned before um his principal fear was that 
a, a nearby dynamite shack, a, a storage for, for dynamite had actually exploded, which is something that could, is a very, you know, that could happen and has happened. Um, we talked about, we talked about old, um, when we talked about the one guy, the, the, the cave, the guy who gets set up as cave with fucking dynamite. Uh, his UFO oh, cave. the German guy the German. blew himself up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that was the what was that dome called again? Uh, the Integratron. The dome, Sorry, right? Integratron. The Integratron. Yeah, 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 the Integratron. We yeah. talked about the one guy. Yeah. So you know, I, it, it's just it's strange. Like fifties and sixties, it just seems like dynamite is everywhere. Like anybody can get their hands well, on dynamite. <laughs> well, and well, I mean, it, dynamite too. It, it doesn't last very long. Like it weeps. Like the sure, sticks yeah. weep. Like the nitroglycerin. No. So I, maybe it's had this old, this old shack has been sitting there for twenty years, and this there's fucking, you know, like a car battery, it all fucking bubbles up. Yep. That's the dynamite, <laughs> the dynamite inside the shack. That's what happened to it. It's funny, and it just like you, spontaneously combusted. Well, like Dan says, like you know, the '60s, '70s, all about dynamite. When we're growing up, all about quicksand. Every cartoon, <laughs> yeah. I scared shitless. Quicksand, quicksand. quicksand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right. It turns out quicksand is not very common. <laughs> no, I've never seen. It. It's I, I not a biggest threat as we were sold as. Yeah, you, you. I don't. Is it like, what is the global deaths of quicksand? I bet near zero, zero probably. Zero. Yeah, <laughs> because you yeah. can't. Even, well, you. T- I mean, you can't even really drown once your body is submerged. You just kind of float <laughs> on it. Yeah. <laughs> can't really, unless you just get just stuck. Get like you know, yeah. yeah. Um, so dynamite will kill you. <laughs> let's be. Let's be. Yeah. The dynamite. They had chance. that was a justified fear uh, <laughs> in this era. Uh, so Zamora using uh, Zamora using his judgment, he decides to uh, let the the speeding car go. Uh, considering this other event of what it was going on, this uh, this roar and this blast could have possibly been something a bit more uh, danger. He judged as being a danger to this the public. He went to go this check is, this out. This is insane. Th- it, this is what we be, thought initially until we. Yeah. This is insane because I'm like, imagine that a cop, he's following a speeder who's in, he's in pursuit and the speeder is not stopping. And he's just like, oh, you know, what's what's that over there? We got a squirrel. Uh Squirrel, well, ooh, ooh, I better go to that crime over here. It's like, in what world would you just like be like, I feel like you would have nor in a normal procedure, you would have radioed in and then been like, hey, we need to send someone else to this. I'm still in hot pursuit. But funny enough, I think we have the dispatch logs. I think so too. And I think we have the dispatch us. Let's why don't you cue those up cells right now? All right. Here we go. Socorro two, the dispatch. Uh, dispatch. Uh, go ahead, Socorro two. Uh, currently I am pursued of a white bronco speeding. Uh got the license plate for you here if you're ready. Okay, I got my pen ready. Um go ahead, Socorro All right. two. Uh and a pen Joe. Uh, Jesus, hold hold on, dispatch. What? Sorry, <laughs> it was the first one. Help, jalapeno. Uh, listen, hey, is uh, Jose working? Oh, yeah, he is. Hold on, you yeah. want you want to talk to Jose? Yeah, go get Jose. Hey, Zocoro too. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey. How you doing, man? Good. How's it going? Not bad, man. Just in pursuit here real quick. I need you to figure this out for me, okay? I got license plate for you. Oh, go ahead, Zucoro 2. Uh, Jalapeno. Oh, J. Hazos. H. Vanilla. V. 792. 792. All right, got it. Okay. All right, hold on. Stand by. Whoa, Zucoro 2. This is dispatch. Uh, Go for Socorro 2. We have a nationwide warrant coming out of Washington State for grand larceny. Whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. That's not so bad, okay? Like, I'm pretty close to him. I'm, I think I'm going to maybe pit this guy. Socorro 2, stay in pursuit. Well, I'm doing so, it. I'm Socorro close. Socorro 2, dispatch. What? We, we are just getting another warrant out of Ohio for aggravated assault. Oh, man. That's great. Hey, hey, you hear that, dispatch? Hey. Zucoro 2, not? dispatch! Zucoro 2, come in! Yeah, go! We have yet another crime out of Connecticut. Armed robbery. Stay on the car! Listen, dispatch, I just heard this really loud sound, okay? And there's a light, it's pretty bright. I think I'm gonna go check it out, okay? Zucoro 2, dispatch! We just found out that this person was involved in an officer shooting just an hour ago. Stay! Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but. Here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website 
and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks, guys. Enjoy the next video.